Hey guys, in this video for the Python Selenium web scraping playbook, we will look at how to set up and use Selenium's undetected Chrome driver to bypass some of the most sophisticated anti-bot mechanisms on the market today, like Datadome, Parametrics, and Cloudflare. Installing Selenium Undetected Chrome Driver Installing Selenium's undetected Chrome driver is very simple. We just need to install the undetected Chrome driver package. I ran into some issues with Selenium version 4.15.2 while making this tutorial. One of the solutions I found in the discussions on GitHub was to downgrade to version 4.9. using the Selenium undetected Chrome driver. Using the undetected Chrome driver in our scraper is actually pretty simple. We just need to import the undetected Chrome driver and then activate it using uc.chrome. When we run uc.chrome, Selenium downloads the latest Chrome driver binary and then patches the Chrome driver so that the vast majority of the ways anti-bot systems can use to detect your Selenium bot or scraper are fixed. You could do this manually yourself. However, using the undetected Chrome driver automates this fortification process. If your use case requires that you use a specific version of Chrome with your scraper, then you can specify a Chrome version by using the uc.target underscore version method before downloading the driver. Now, when you run the scraper, it will use Chrome version 85 as the browser, adding Chrome options to the undetected Chrome driver. You can customize the undetected Chrome driver like you would a normal Chrome driver by setting options in the uc.chromeoptions method. Here, we set the Chrome driver to not load images when loading the page. One caveat to using the options is that you might accidentally make your driver more detectable, since the undetected Chrome driver has a lot of default settings that make it less detectable to antibot systems. Using proxies with undetected Chrome driver. You can use the undetected Chrome driver with proxies by setting the proxy server argument in the Chrome options. This will make your scraper even more undetectable, as you can use a different IP address for every page you load. This method doesn't work if you use proxies that require username and password authentication, like I am here. In this example, we solve this by loading the undetected Chrome driver from the Selenium Wire extension instead of directly from the undetected Chrome driver package. Then we create a dictionary with our proxy settings and pass those settings into the Selenium Wire options attribute of the Chrome driver. Now, when we run the script, Selenium will route the requests through the proxy URL using the undetected Chrome driver. Issues with the undetected Chrome driver. If you want to use the undetected Chrome driver to scrape websites protected by Cloudflare, Datadome, parametrics, etc., then it can work well. However, it does have its downsides, namely detection. Anti-bot companies monitor how headless browsers bypass their anti-bot protection systems, and then they patch those issues. So bots usually only have a few months of shelf life before they stop working and need to be updated. Stability. It is common to run into stability issues as they consume a lot of memory and can easily crash servers. Bandwidth and cost. Headless browsers can consume a lot of bandwidth as they render the full page, which can really drive up your scraping costs, especially if you are using a proxy service that prices based on the bandwidth consumed. So, if you are thinking of using undetected Chrome driver solely to bypass an anti-bot system on a website, 
then an alternative is to use smart proxies that develop and maintain their own private anti-bot bypasses. One of the best options is the ScrapeOps proxy aggregator, as it integrates over 20 smart proxy providers into the same proxy API and finds the best and cheapest provider for your target domains. In this example, we activate ScrapeOps anti-bot bypasses by simply using the bypass flag in the API request. Here we are adding the Cloudflare bypass to the request. The advantage of taking this approach is that you can use your normal HTTP client and you don't have to worry about fortifying headless browsers, managing numerous headless browser instances and dealing with memory issues, or reverse engineering the anti-bot protection systems. All of this is managed within the ScrapeOps proxy aggregator. You can get a ScrapeOps API key with 1,000 free API credits by going to scrapeops.io, clicking on Get Free Account, and signing up for a free account. So that is how to set up and use Selenium's undetected Chrome driver to scrape websites without getting blocked by anti-bot systems. If you would like to learn more about web scraping with Selenium, then be sure to check out the Selenium Web Scraping Playbook or one of our more in-depth guides at scrapeops.io. You can also find more video tutorials on our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.